Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your seat belts on because the BBC Samurai has been causing some real wildfires in Japan. And I kid you not, bro, I kid you not. YouTubers are making thumbnails like that because these suckers, these suckers for the second time have confirmed that Yasuke is gonna be LGBT. <laughs> It is so crazy, it is so crazy that apparently we got Japanese politicians getting the government involved, they're getting the popo involved, we're gonna get into it, like the video if you think they're two genders, just like the video if you think they're 5,000 genders. Now to understand the story, right, to me and maybe to you as well, this is not new information, this is new information, we're gonna get down to it, because yeah, they're getting the government involved, boys, they're getting the government involved! Oh, shit. Yeah, let that sink in, let that sink in, because this situation is blowing up. But for the second time, they have confirmed that Yasuke and Noe, I believe that's how you call, uh, say her name, uh, both characters are going to be LGBT, uh, and they're apparently saying that they're going to be having some crazy, crazy romance options, and it's going to be more developed relationships. I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean that he's going to be on his knees sucking these? I, I don't know, okay? Now, the reason a lot of people and the reaction online has been absolutely insane today. I, I don't know, right? Like, it feels like to me that people are finding out about this for the first time. And listen, man, I, I get it, man. My, my black homies are looking like this. They're like, hey, why it always got to be us, man? Why y'all suck is always got to make us gay? I, I understand that point. But see, it's so disrespectful to the real Yasuke, right? Because... The real Yasuke, the real person, right, he was not gay. And, and they're using a real person and making him gay and, and they are reconfirming it for the second time. Oh man, we didn't get enough reaction, so therefore we gotta, we gotta talk about it for the second time. And these things are saying that it's gonna have more developed relationships. I, I swear to God, bro, this situation is just insanity. Pro Max, okay? Pro Max. But apparently we also got this video that I want to also show you because there is a whole lot of a whole lot more that's going around. Now, Yasuke, keep in mind, he was a straight person. Or reportedly, okay? Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Listen, I was not there, but what's being reported, he was a straight person. And these seconds have turned a real person into gay uh, into gay be, being gay. For their own good man they're using lgbt people as shields they're using black people as shields and also being racist towards japanese people and stereotyping the living crap out of the black homies as well so and, and a lot of my black homies my japanese homies and gamers around everybody's like waking up to all that bull squash but it looks like to me that many people were not aware that he was in the game uh, the reactions online has been insane and we might have to make a dedicated video for that because in this one I specifically want to talk about this situation and uh, and apparently we also have Learning the law going crazy today as well. Roll it. You can see in this post Thomas Lockley, author of Yasuke Black Samurai, falsely claimed he never spoke to Ubisoft before deleting his accounts. It's now confirmed Ubi was influenced by him for- Uh, context, Thomas Lockley is the guy apparently that just got caught with, with his uh, schlong in hand, metaphorically speaking. He was the guy that made Yasuke being a samurai, and what we're learning is that Yasuke was not a samurai. Oh. And, and he made made it up, and Ubisoft made Assassin's Creed based off of his book and Wikipedia, uh, apparently. So, and, and yeah, he was behind uh, changing the Wikipedia as well. I mean, there's a reason why teachers back in the day said that do not, do not trust Wikipedia. For Assassin's Creed Shadows and featured him in a Spotify episode. Lockley is now facing national backlash for his dishonesty. And he goes on to say the progressive critics who claimed only people from the West are upset Yasuke has been trending in Japan for four consecutive days. You don't trend in Japan for four days straight unless people are talking about you all the time. And that is exactly what's happening with Thomas Lockley. He's disgraced across Japan right now and people are demanding that the Japanese government investigate him. It's not just something that they took up on their own. The Japanese people are talking about this. They sent up letters to the secretary who works for the senator who wants to investigate this stuff. So you you guys are going to see that in a second, but what I read here from learning the law was pretty awesome. It's beautiful. The fools thought they could lock down Wikipedia and get away with it. This has made the Japanese people realize that the West wasn't portraying Yasuke as entertainment and a fictional figure, but rather as a historical samurai based on lies. And now they are angry. You have to keep in mind that not only is Thomas Lockley messing up the history with Yasuke and has been doing so for so long, Ubisoft themselves have taken yeah. Thomas Lockley's words and run with it as a historical source of information to make Yasuke who he is. In doing so, mm. they have not only ruined who Yasuke was as a person and gotten it completely wrong they have even gone as far as changing his very sexuality and personality yeah. he's a man this is absolutely pathetic right like yes yeah, so everybody's like beefing 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 whether he was a retainer or a samurai 
apparently we're learning he was uh, he was a retainer but for, for 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 a second right like let's agree to disagree let's just say he was a samurai okay oh well, guys i'm just trying to make a point okay like yeah whatever if he was a samurai retainer i don't give a damn about it okay like if he was a samurai cool if he was not a samurai cool whatever but like damn bro so people ask you what's your superpower superpowers ubisoft is the first one ding 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 uh, being gay like what the actual hell bro what the actual hell and it's not even a fictional character it's a real person that y'all y'all sick as are shitting on his legacy bro like that that is absolutely disrespectful that's disrespectful on so many different levels bro and of course he, they're using him and stereotyping the black homies as well and yeah i've been reading my uh, my comments and uh some of you guys are saying hey man i'm black and this is absolutely pathetic and yeah I, i'm i'm reading your guys comments as well and uh, my homies my black homies uh, are, are looking like this right now bro like i would also be I i'm brown right and if they actually put a brown person like me in the game i would be equally terrified as well it's like it's one of those things right imagine imagine right you do something amazing in your life you're like hey i made this i made that i invented this i invented that talk about that you saw nah bro your biggest achievement was you being gay like damn homie that is crazy and if any lgbt people watching this video and listening to this y'all sickers need to wake up too bro they're using you guys <laughs> as shields they really are they're using black people lgbt people as shields right like they, they are the ones that are trying to make people hate each other that's what's going on right now these suckers are crazy bro these suckers are real real crazy Apparently going to be bisexual and like both women and men in some situations as per that Park Place's reports. New report claims same-sex romance options confirmed for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now this is something that I said in previous videos about Assassin's Creed Shadows. I predicted that they were going to do this because in past Assassin's Creed games they have done this exact same thing. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey with Alexios and the other girl that you can play as, they also did the same thing in Valhalla if I recall correctly. So they're going to do that again, of course. But this would explain why they hired that very interesting historical consultant that studied these uh, relationships between priests and uh, young adolescent boys because as per YouTube video it says romances are back and seems like they're going to work <laughs> a bit different this time for one just like in Odyssey and Valhalla we can still choose to pursue romantic relationships or not but because they are two completely different characters that are playable they will now both have their own unique romances while in Odyssey for example both Alexios and Cassandra had the exact same options okay well here's the problem Yasuke is a real historical figure and he's the main character of this game so now yeah. they have given this character bisexual options what is so funny about their change to Yasuke's personality personality and sexuality is that historically he is technically a Christian who works for the Jesuits and he was supposed to Holy help crap. spread Christianity to the masses That's of Japan the so they're saying historically Holy in crap. this video game Assassin's Creed Shadows that you listen man that is holy crap now listen I'm not Christian though but like damn bro damn that is like and now these sickers are destroying other people's fates like that just uh, dunking on their uh, their religion and disrespecting like that bro like holy crap man like i need my i need my christian brothers on this one immediately as a muslim bro i'm with my christian brothers on this one man this this is this is not funny bro that now this is this is just beyond ridiculous at this point bro Holy crap. Yasuke, a black man, was not only a samurai, which wasn't true, but they're now saying that he gets down with men sometimes, which is probably not true Damn, either. Bro. And they're Damn. just making it up as they go along. Not only them, but the people who study and research this man, who've studied and... Oh, I, I'm finding out about the uh, about his faith uh, real time. I mean, I'm not surprised to me that he was Christian. That part, not surprised. But, but like... Uh, but I'm finding out about that what, what Ubisoft is doing uh, to him right now, bro. Like, that that's just so... That... that it was disrespectful like we were talking about in prior videos and even in this video it's disrespectful absolutely it is it was always pro max but now it's like they cross a line further than that like oh man like th this uh, what <laughs> Bro, like, this, this is crazy to me, man. This is Research insanity, this man more than bro. anybody else still can't help but pass off the samurai lie that so many are now debunking. If you want to see how destructive Thomas Lockley's disinformation campaign on Yasuke has been in the West and in Japan, take a look at this post from Learning the Law, which is hilarious, actually. Things are escalating quickly in Japan, and I know that for sure now. Now Broadway plans to distort Japanese history by creating a Yasuke musical titled The Black Samurai. Meanwhile, Tokyo Weekender, Japan's top English lifestyle magazine, is calling out Thomas Lockley, this man, and Ubisoft 
Ubisoft are done for. And this is the article in question that he refers us to. Backlash over no. claims that black slaves were popular among feudal lords in Japan. On Thursday, Variety revealed that Joanne M. Hunter, the choreographer of School of Rock and Bad Surinderella, I love School of Rock, has been hired to direct the upcoming musical Yasuke the Black Samurai, which is expected to open in 2026. It's a year or so from now. With few historical documents on Yasuke, the story is likely to be chiefly based on the words of Thomas Lockley. I'm telling you, dude, when that production fails and all these other people are forced to admit the truth after supporting this guy for so long, it's going to be a disaster for him. It's going to be a disaster for all of these people who have perpetuated and enabled this lie for all this time. The English author has received widespread criticism, particularly in the... Yeah, English author, man. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This is crazy, bro. Oh man, like I got my hands up in the air. I got my hands on my knees right now. Dog, oh, like how did video games become this? You remember right like a year ago we were talking about gaming news. Game this is also gaming news though. This is gaming news, guys. Can you believe it? This is, I cannot even believe it. <laughs> Past few days and has reportedly deleted his Facebook page. The biggest backlash has been against his claim that several feudal lords in Japan were happy to make use of black slaves. There have been close to 200,000 posts on the subject. What? Dude, this guy, he's in such deep doo-doo, man. He really is. And now for the main event. Let's read this post uh -oh, from Grum so that you can uh -oh. have full context as to what is now going on. The Assassin's Creed Shadows issues with Yasuke and the discredited historian Thomas Lockley have exploded into a potential diplomatic incident. Letters are being sent with questions to the Japan Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry. While the government have not taken action yet, they are waiting for final release of the game to decide, and there is mounting pressure in Japan to address the issue with Ubisoft, portraying false information to Japanese children. How fascinating. Now, this guy right here is a member of the House of Counselors in the upper branch of the- And we have covered this story yesterday, right? Like, I showed you guys the receipts as well, because one of the person that was working uh, is working at Ubisoft. He did say that people are gonna learn Japanese history with this game. <laughs> I will link you that video. Don't, don't you worry. I will link you that video. But yeah, like I covered that, showed you guys the receipts, and we talked about it because I've seen some some of you say, and yeah, I mean, it's your opinion, it's your opinion. Like I got no issues with that. Like some people love liking the game. And if you like what you see, yeah, go for it, right? Like, I'm nobody to tell you what you gotta do with your money. It's your money, you do you, right? But if you're somebody that's not liking what you see, if you feel like that this is disrespectful to your culture, disrespectful to you, to your people, or you simply don't want to support it because you feel like that it's disrespectful to other people, whatever the reason might be, everybody has the right to dislike it or like it for whatever reason, right? Like, if you like the game, get it. If you don't like the game, don't get it. Simple as that, right? But here's the thing though, some people were saying, and I've read your guys' comments, generally speaking, most of you guys are uh, aware of what's going on, but there have been like some few people, some few few of you are saying that, okay, so, uh, how is this disrespectful? Like, this is a fictional game, bro. This is not historically accurate. Yesterday, well, the, the dev came out and said that, well, people are gonna learn the real Japanese history with that. I I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing, but he did he did say that yeah, people are gonna learn the Japanese history with this game. So yeah, go figure. And <laughs> and today they reconfirmed that Yasuke is gonna be gonna be gay in this game, bro. That is, holy crap, bro. That is disrespectful on so many levels, man. The Diet Damn, of Japan. Homie. So he is in the government. All right, this guy is a secretary for a certain member of the House of Counselors. All right, so this guy okay. is kind of a big deal. He's a middleman for information being passed from the people to the government and back and forth. And he also communicates with other branches of the Japanese government in order to get a bunch of information. Specifically in this case, that information is about Yasuke and Assassin's Creed Shadows. And not only that, but they're researching a whole bunch of other content pertaining to what YouTubers have talked about, pertaining to other investigations done by Japanese locals, etc., etc. And what they have determined is that there could be potential problems with this game that could escalate the investigation to higher levels. Now, if that is the case, then not only is Thomas Lockley in hot water, but Ubisoft could be in hot water as well. As if they haven't been in hot water already with their horrid gameplay showcases for both Assassin's Creed Shadows and Star Wars Outlaws, which we'll touch upon in just a minute. It seems that all of these people are in big, big trouble. But as it says here, he is a secretary for House of Counselors member Tetsu Hamada. He was talking about letters that were sent to him by Japanese people, to which he responded very promptly and sent information up to his superiors. But he also reached out to the National Diet Library which is basically the National Library of Japan in order Wait to ask it. questions about Yasuke's history and to determine how accurate his history is because if it turns out that, of course, it's not true, which by the looks of things, it might not actually be true, okay, guys? I think we have enough evidence to make Yo, that- imagine it is true. <laughs> Yo, imagine if it's true, man. That would be crazy. 
That would be a real plot twist, but even if it turns out that it's real, people are not gonna believe it. Even I won't believe it, right? Let, let's be real. Because, you know, they lied with the Wikipedia, they changed the Wikipedia, now Thomas Lockley is getting caught with his schlong in hand, metaphor metaphorically speaking, allegedly, gotta add that, right? Metaphorically speaking. It's not gonna be, even if they, if we find out it's true, right, that he was, uh, you know, a samurai and gay, probably not true, right? Let's be real, because they have edited, they have lied, so people are naturally not gonna believe it. Established conclusion by now, it's going to escalate. Now, I wanna show you guys this clip of what he says right here so that you can see that he actually said it, and he points out something about Thomas Lockley that is very telling. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Lockley saying in various media is different and regarding this is auto translate. Pointed out that the okay, the, it is pointed out to me that the contents of the Japanese version and the uh, I don't know what version of the book are different. Why is it such a difference? So if you did not hear what he says, he brings up the fact that Thomas Lockley says different things in his American interviews and his Japanese interviews about Yasuke's history. When he's yeah. in Japan, he acknowledges that not much is known to be able to confirm much of the information he's provided. And yet when he does his American interviews, he says that most of this stuff is true and that it can be verified and that the Japanese people are pleased with this information. So these people are looking not only into the interviews that Thomas He's playing that double agent game. I, I see you, brother. I see you. I, I see you, poppy. I see you. I see you. He's trying to play that double agent game right now. He's like, <laughs> he's like, in Japan, we do not know much. He's probably not a samurai because he was not. He's probably not a samurai. But in the United States, yeah, America, if yeah, he was a samurai, papa. Yeah, so that's uh, what's going on right now. Yeah, he, in, Jap in Japan, uh, He's like, bro, I don't know, bro, I don't know. You guys are right, you guys are right. In America, I see you, America. You guys know what's up. You guys rocking with the BBC Samurai? Oh, hell yeah, man. BBC Samurai, oh, heal, all heal the BBC Samurai, right? That, that's crazy situation, man. Lockley has participated in, but also much of the content surrounding Yasuke's history that people have manipulated. They may have already reached out to Thomas Lockley, not much is known about that. What we know about Thomas Lockley is that he disappeared from the grid because he was guilty, knew it, and he was embarrassed and went offline so that people wouldn't contact him about his dealings with Ubisoft and the profits that he's made off of a speculative fiction book. Now, I do feel it's important to point out that the reason that this is being investigated is because people are talking about it. If they weren't mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. it and there weren't people angry in Japan over this, the Japanese government probably would not take up this issue because after yeah. all it is a video game and that is something that the japanese government in this video according to the secretary describes that they cannot fully pursue this video game until it comes out and they can make some more important distinctions about the accuracy of the game and the intent behind it whether it's malicious historical inaccuracy or something else but when it comes to thomas y yeah ubisoft better like change things up right now ubisoft better <laughs> they have the time to change some things up knowing them they're probably not gonna do that right but but check this out this is also equally hilarious uh they they're coming up with star wars right the gameplay is looking like straight from playstation 3 bro like th th yeah check this. so many times with youtube trailers for these games this time it's for a good reason because ubisoft thought it was a fantastic idea to show gamers one of the most boring fetch missions ever created on a planet that is the most overused in any star wars movie or tv show in one of the most remote and empty parts of the map that you can possibly think of in order to get gamers excited for star wars outlaws by the way hint hint it did not work you guys want to see yeah. what kind of gameplay we have in store for us when we spend 70 oh, to 150 dollars for the collector's editions or whatever yeah, this no uh, minus the wool crap forget about the wool crap aside dog like if people buy this game and people buy i mean it's your money you do you right like it's perfectly fine if you buy if you like it then that's different but if you're not if you're gonna buy i mean and, and then you're gonna complain and then you're gonna hate it then dog like you you bought it bro you are the one uh, you are the one that's enabling these publishers uh to make games like that to these devs to make games like that we deserve better gamers do deserve better the, look at this game right this game came out uh on the ps3 this is uncharted 2 for those of you asking graphically speaking right like the game still looks good to this day of course uh, it's not the best but man like look at that the story of this game was amazing those of you that played uncharted 2 you, you know this game was absolutely amazing for the time it was light years ahead and even looking back at it this game is just insanely good bro and, and i'm not even like uh, playing this gameplay in 4k quality and i also don't have it in full screen 
right this is like windowed mode that i got which is like a little bit zoomed in so i have not zoomed in but i stretched up i upscaled it essentially but i'm currently watching let's let's just say at 720p and you're get watching this video at 1080p i'm watching the compressed version you're watching on youtube so you're also getting the compressed version so yeah graphically speaking it, it's a it's a ps3 game bro and this looks miles better than whatever crap that they are producing in the year 2024 could, could, holy crap bro like how did gaming get up into a position like this this is what you have in store for you how did we get here man uh what is that it's just a star wars character riding a bike across a very empty desert wow. for almost a minute long it is crazy how little they have done in this trailer she's basically going down into a sarlacc pit and grabbing an item that she gives to a jawa and then he just throws it away and then she's like well i'm glad i went through all that trouble to fetch this for you by the way all of that that she goes through to find this item she ends up not even being in combat a single time and she brings right. it back to them but after she gets out of this cave this was the fun I, I, I gotta admit that i did not watch the gameplay to this extent where i knew about like the plot or the storyline like the the homie uh dread rob robert a uh, robot a uh, robot uh, robertson robert snow okay uh, i almost said robot but because yeah the name has okay D uh, dread robertson robertson shout out to the roberts man funniest thing that i have seen because it brings home the fact that this game is extremely underdeveloped and has a lot of issues to work out and i saw the explosion i saw the explosion this one is hilarious Wait that's apart it. from the fact that it's from ubisoft so you can bet that it's not just the graphics that are in danger but the gameplay as well which is also something that you see in the trailer check this out right here uh oh uh oh this is oh my god bro. <laughs> You see that explosion? I've seen better explosions in the Doom franchise, like way back in the 90s. I've seen way better explosions than that. You guys have to see. Look at that explosion. It's just doesn't even look like it fits into the game. And that's the problem that so many people have had with Star Wars Outlaws since they first started. Wow, strong much, independent much, guys. But check out this video on the screen. This is the one that I'm, I was talking about because they came out and said that Assassin's Creed is historically accurate, everybody. Check this video out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. This one, I made it for my young bucks out there, for my kings uh, out there. Don't chase a pom pom, guys. Don't chase a pom.